Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I am here to share this adorable little hello friend note card with you. I'm going to walk you through the steps for this, but first I want to show you something. So for my own sanity and help, I've developed a system, a kitchen table stamper that I use um, when I really need to push through creative block or make a lot of cards at one time. It's called a wonder recipe system. And basically it's a one sheet wonder, but you start with a six by six designer series paper. Now, of course you could start with a 12 by 12 paper and cut it into six by sixes and then follow the wonder recipe and you'd get four times the number of cards great for if you're doing a lot of thank you notes or birthday cards or something um, but you can also scale a 12 by 12 paper down for the wonder recipe to a 6 by 6 so let me show you this designer series paper that I'm using it's from the new 2d fruity suite this is called the 2d fruity 6 by 6 designer series paper pack and it is just chock full of great um, fruit patterns and really fun b-side prints so you'll see that on one side you got something fruity and on the other side you got a fun pattern and let's see if I can show you a few of these I think this pack is a little shuffled but that's okay we'll see what we can see so those watermelons with the red real red sprinkles and then Here's this one. So it's not fruit on either side of this one. Fun Calypso Coral, Peekaboo Peach, Sweet Sugar Plum, Rich Razzleberry, um, Island Indigo, nice multicolor pattern. I love this with the raspberries. On the other side, you've got almost a watermelon stripe. This fruit slices has the Peekaboo Peach speckle on the back. Here's a fun Oh, this just cracks me up with the daffodil delight and sweet sugar plum bananas and the dragon fruit where it's um, speckle one side and little dragon fruit slices on the other. Here's the papaya with basic black and whisper white and then more pears. Let me show you the one that we're using here. I've used up a bunch of it because I needed to do it for class. So we've got this multicolor stripe and on the back it's lemon lime twist like a grid paper. All right, so what I did with my paper is I started with a sheet of the six by six paper, and then I cut it according to the wonder recipe number five. Just cut it into four quarters, so you got three inch squares, and then went from there. And what that does for me is it gets me over that, like oh, I can't cut this perfect piece of paper, or um, I don't know where to start. So once you've cut your designer series paper and picked out cor coordinating card stocks in your stamp set, your design is halfway done. And that really helps me some days. So I'll, I share these, they're on my blog, kitchentablestamper.com, if you wanna take a look at them. Just click on six by six wonder recipes under the categories on the right hand side of the blog. And you'll see there's five different recipes and it'll bring up lots of different samples that I've made with each of the recipes. Um, I try to keep adding to it as I go to build a resource, both for me and for you. Okay, so my Stampin' Up! supplies for this, I used quite a few stamp sets for this one. I've got my fruit basket, and I got the Hello Friend greeting out of there. I love this handwritten font. It's really just makes me happy. And then hedgehogs, we're going to use the little guy here that's um, standing with the flower, and we're going to use this two um, flower stem. And then lovely wishes, and what we want is this bittiest little tulip here. And that is going to turn into our adorable little butterflies. Isn't that fantastic? Oh my gosh, I thought that was brilliant. I was really proud of myself. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me grab my um, Stampin' Paris mat here and we'll get some, some stamping going on. I got some Stampin' Write markers, um, an embossing folder, and soft suede ink. So let me show you that. Soft suede Stampin' Pad, Early Espresso, Bermuda Bay, Pear Pizzazz. Let me make sure that's Pear Pizzazz and not Old Olive. Well, that's old all about pear pizzazz. Hold on. All right. Now we're in business. Pear pizzazz and real red Stampin' Rights. And then this is the Woodlands embossing folder. Okay. Stampin' Pierce mats. Our consumables for this project include, oh, you know what else I used and didn't tell you about? Stitched shapes and layering circles. Here's my stitch shapes, and we used that third largest circle. And then the layering circles framelits, we used the coordinating scalloped, and that one is, I lost my ruler for a minute. That one is um, about two and five eighths. 
All right, I'll have measurements for you in the on the project sheet at kitchentablestamper.com, and the Wonder Recipe will be there too to remind you. Um, I've got scraps of crumb cake and soft sky, my three by three, the two D four D designer series paper. Got my crumb cake card base, and it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So first thing I'm going to do here is ink up my little hedgehog in soft suede. We want to really ink him up well so that he gives us the best um, image possible. We want a real dark hedgehog, but we don't want his belly to blush. So when you have an image that's got the lines and an open space, sometimes if you press too hard, you'll create a vacuum. And what the vacuum will do is pull the center where there is no image down and make it um, make contact with the paper and then you get ink in the center of your image. So if you find that you have that problem, try inking up really well, use a gentle hand, just hold pressure but don't push and wait for a second for the ink to transfer to the cardstock and then you'll get a good dark image with a nice clean center. Don't create that vacuum and you'll get a better image. All right, so we've got our little hedgehog and let's let him dry for a second. We're going to take our Whisper White and this little floral image here. I've got a pair of pizzazz and real red. And we're going to ink up the stamp with two colors using the stamp and write markers. So I like to start with a pair of pizzazz because it's a little bit less intense than the real red. And I'm gonna do the stems and leaves. And I also like to go over the image more than once to really cover with ink. And then we'll do our real red on the flowers. Look at those pretty little flowers. All right, then we're gonna huff. And that just keeps the ink nice and moist. And we're gonna stamp it kind of in an angle on the circle. Oh, so pretty. Now I've got that little um, flower from the Lovely Wishes stamp set. And we're gonna ink that with Bermuda Bay. Stamp them right. And then we're gonna stamp that little guy to make butterfly wings. So we'll stamp it kind of up above the flower here. Ink up again and turn it around. And we'll add another little butterfly wings end up fluttering toward. Now, doesn't quite look like a butterfly yet. That's why we have our early espresso marker. We're gonna use the right side of the marker instead of the brush side and just add those little butterfly bodies in there. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, while we're stamping, I shouldn't have closed my ink pad quite yet, but keeps it from sticking my finger in it and having an accident. All right, so I've got hello. I'm going to stamp it on the soft sky with soft suede. Excuse me, I'm going to stamp it hello on the pool party scrap with soft suede ink. And then friend, I'm going to stamp right next. Now it's time for a little cutting. So I've got my paper snips and we're going to cut out the little hedgehog. We're going to cut him on the line and we're going to cut off the flower. So I'm gonna fussy cut that, and then I'll cut back in. Okay, so we've cut our little hedgie out. Now we've got our hello friend, and we're going to just cut this out in a nice tight rectangle. And it's not supposed to be perfect. Just do what you can to make it straight and pleasing to the eye, and then cut the greetings apart. And I'm gonna get a little closer to hello there. All right, now I'm going to clear our sample and our pieces out of the way here for just a minute and grab the big shot. We're gonna do some embossing. Okay, so I'm here with the big shot and I'm set up for embossing. I have my platform, no thin dye adapter, and then one cutting pad. I've got my card base and my embossing folder. And you'll see that the tree branches kinda go downward um, so I'm going to turn it around and then put the front of my card in the embossing folder. And I'm going to do it so that the tree lines up with the fold 
on the card. So this furthest tree along the Sizzix edge is right along the card fold. I'll add another cutting pad and go ahead and just crank that through. And we're gonna get a beautiful textured background for our card. All right, so here's our card, and you can see those fantastic tree trunks that we just embossed in there. Clear away the big shot, and let's assemble this card. Okay, what I'm adhering to an embossed cardstock, I like to use fast fuse. The trick with the fast fuse is to use a very light hand, and then to stop the flow of the heat adhesive by pulling to the left or pulling to the right very lightly. I'm going to center right to left and put about the same top margin and get our designer series paper on the card front. Next we've got our adorable little scene here. Let's get some Stampin Dimensionals on the back of our little hedgie and adhere him to our stitched, shirt, stitched circle. Okay, my dimensionals are all sticky. Let's apply this guy so that he is holding that little flower. And then back to my fast views, and I'm gonna put just a little bit on the back. And we'll center it on the pool party scallop and center that on the designer series paper three by three square. Look at that little cutie. Now, let's get a greeting on there. Find my little ransom note greeting. I see friend and hello. All right, let's turn those both over. And I'm going to get my multi-purpose liquid glue here. And just add a touch on the back of each of these greeting pieces. And we'll flip and apply. And I like them to go just a little wobbly and add some interest to the card, some whimsical touch. Hello, friend. And there it is. What a cutie, huh? Okay, if you've got any questions about this card, the Wonder Recipes, or Stampin' Up, email me, marissa, at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.